uh congratulations on the show and everything continued success of it uh fourth season that's uh have you wrapped your head around the fact that it's been four years or has it just been just been a blur so far yeah it's just gone like that like i just can't i can't believe it sometimes i think about that as it's time has just completely flown i i, I don't even know where it's gone yeah it's it, it, it must be great to play you know you obviously in movies you play a character for a certain amount of time but in the movie as we see it, it's a couple of hours we get to spend with these with the characters whereas in your case you've done x amount of episodes you've gone through ups and downs backwards and forwards and all sorts of different things how 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 exciting and how much of a kind of unique challenge is it as an actor to play someone for so long and to get to kind of delve deeper than maybe you would in a feature film no, I think that's a great question. I think you have to be inventive and you have to find new ways to discover your character constantly, or you'll just be playing the same thing. And I think what the writing does on our show, which is so terrific and fantastic, is that it builds that in for us. It shows you how these characters have, will grow and become new people and make decisions that they would otherwise never have made three seasons ago. So the writing really helps uh, elevate that and helps reinvent these people and they go on their own metamorphoses every every season. Um, and also with my character, what, what has been great to play is uh, him in the very beginning of his career, fresh out of school, um, at, you know, with only an academic uh, understanding of what it means to be a doctor and then thrown into this world of medicine where he um, is, is, is practicing and he, it's a practical uh, um, uh, trial by fire, really, that, that ultimately... Um, lends itself to figuring out what kind of doctor he's going to be. So to start at the very beginning and, and fast forward to where we are now, it's, it's broad and it's been um, a wild and fun journey that's been constantly uh, reinventing itself because of the writing. Yeah. And I mean, the last year has obviously highlighted the need and the importance of, you know, um, first responders and doctors and everything else. Has that, has that changed the dynamic of the show at all? Have you, have you started to see, little notes because I was talking to someone from Grey's Anatomy and they said most of this new season is is to do around COVID and all that kind of stuff. Has, has your show kind of changed? Has it navigated through that in a different way? Oh, for sure. So I know Grey's Anatomy really does talk about the pandemic and it lives in the pandemic. What we do is we, um, we discuss the pandemic in the first episode uh, and how it is affecting Chastain and all of the characters because we have this explosive case of COVID in the first episode that then thwarts us to uh, our individual journeys. Mine in particular, I lose somebody very close to me uh, to COVID and that uh, begins his journey. But um, <clears throat> I think that we, um, as actors playing frontline workers, take this job very seriously like we've never had before and understand what a great privilege it is to spotlight those uh, individuals who are fighting on the front lines every day. Uh, so I often say that if we could just get some small part of it right, then we've done some good because really our world right now is focused on our real heroes, which are our frontline workers who are working every day all around this world, uh, risking their lives to save others. So to just sort of illustrate them and shine a light on their work is is a great honor. Yeah. And obviously all the characters have gone through journeys themselves. Your character has been through a, a journey over three seasons, going into a fourth season. For for you as, as an actor, when, when you get those scripts for the first time, does the excitement come from the continued journey of him or does the excitement come from the surprises that might come that you don't quite know about? Does that kind of keep you on your toes and does that help kind of keep it fresh for you? Yeah, both. I think um, the, 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 I guess, breadth of the journey does is exciting and, and has been fulfilling. But I do know what you mean by uh, keeping you on your toes because any sort of patient story could push you in a different direction as an actor or even as a doctor you're playing. You know, uh, one patient could come in and, and you might make a decision that you would never have made with, with another patient. And that's all built in the writing based on the character, their decision, who they are as people and how they relate to the patient that's coming in. There's a patient in season four, episode six, that influences Devin in a way I don't think any character has before so I think that that's also what helps uh, keep the character on their toes. Um, and for everybody, you know, everybody on the show has uh, patient stories that influence their character and shape them. Yeah, for sure. Well, I wish you all the best with season four. Uh, and obviously with, with the star, obviously more people are going to see it now. So uh, only bigger, bigger things. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank and you. Uh, stay safe. And you. Thanks Cheers. so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. 
Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.